back to 1961, the Berlin Wall was constructed, and Germany was never the same. Moving forward to 1989, the wall began to come down, but the world was forever changed. It had become bigger, especially to those East Germans. Looking back to 1976, the supersonic airliner Concorde made its first commercial flight, and air travel was never the same. Moving forward to 2003, the Concorde made its last journey, and the world was forever changed. It had become small. Looking back to 1954, Toastmasters District 42 was established. On July the 1st, 2016, the district will split with Northern Alberta and Northern Saskatchewan becoming District 99. We'll remain in District 42, and the Toastmasters world will never be the same, same again. So you likely were not part of the crowd climbing over that historic, making that historic journey over the wall back on November the 9th, 1989. And you were likely not among the passengers making the historic final flight to Heathrow on October the 24th, 2003. But you have the opportunity to be a part of the final convention of District 42 as we currently know it. Join me in Red Deer this spring from April 29th to May the 1st and be a part of this historic occasion. Who has been to a district convention? Keep your hands up. <laughs> and everybody else, write down their names because they can answer questions for you as well as me. And there's also Mary and Darlene. They are resources for you. And you can jump in and tell me if I'm doing something wrong. So I'm going to walk the rest of you through the basic structure of a convention from Friday until Sunday. We're still 94 days away from this convention in Red Deer. So there's some details that are not set in stone. But the basic skeleton of what to expect so that you leave with an understanding. Much fun it can be. On Friday, you'll check into your room at the beautiful Sheraton Hotel. You will have booked this well ahead of time and received a discounted rate. At 4 p.m., the registration desk opens, and you'll be greeted by Toastmaster volunteers and handed your name tag, your meal and event tickets, a program, something like this, and a map, and usually a treat bag, and I was counting on Lena to have her Calgary one there. A bag filled with an array of treasures, pens, water bottles, notebooks, lip balm, um, hand sanitizer, and these funny little gadgets. Anyway, this is stuff. And here is where you'll start meeting a host of other Toastmasters, and the mood is always friendly, it's always upbeat and alive and buzzing. After collecting your registration package, you may need to visit the credentials desk. Now, Kathy and Lena are the ones that will need to visit the credentials desk. They are currently our two highest ranking club officers, and so they hold the votes for our club for district officer elections and any business that's undertaken at the business meeting. So they will head off to the credentials desk, they'll sign in, and I know very naughty of me that I have ballots from last time. They'll look something like this. So if you need to actually have a physical vote, this is what's used. If they're not able to come, I think if one of their kids is getting married would be the only exception. <laughs> so if I expect them to be there. Then they can sign a proxy, hand it to a club member, and the proxy can be exchanged for their vote. Having a presence at the convention, either in person or by proxy, is a requirement of president of the year. So Kathy will not be eligible for that if she, if she or her designate is not at the, the convention. So then we're on to mixing and mingling and having 
and fun, and around about 6 p.m., there will be a formal welcome, opening ceremonies, and a meal. After that, there's fun activities, a special event for first-time convention goers, so you're never left on your own. And there's a DJ or a band dancing, and later, usually a hospitality suite. In Saskatoon, the hospitality suite was the bar downstairs, so it wasn't very cheap, but they usually do their best to have a uh, room. The theme for Friday is Blast from the Past, and the dress code is anything from one of the eras that District 42 has seen around. Who can tell me when it was established? Let's see how you listen. It was a four in it, that's all I remember. 54. 54? Well, here we go, you get prime. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't decided yet what Hagi and I are wearing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on Saturday, breakfast is at 7 a.m. sharp. And this meal includes a keynote speaker, a speech by past world champion Mark Brown. Then there's educational sessions. They're run concurrently, so you have to pick and choose. You can't go to them all. Some sample educationals you can look back and hear if you like at Saskatoon. They haven't got them listed for the spring convention yet. At 10 a.m., there's the district council meeting. So go and attend, even if you're not holding a vote. It's a great place to see the application of Robert's rules at its finest. It's a great place to get the lowdown of what is happening in the wider Toastmaster world. At noon, there's a luncheon, and this is where individuals from clubs are recognized for their achievements. And I always sit there and go, oh, I should take a picture of the screen where Kanak's name and Fiza's name and Andy's name are uh, scrolling up the screen, and I never remember to do that. So that's recognition that for us as individuals. And then after lunch, there is round two of educational sessions. At 3 p.m., the start of the International Speech Contest, which is one of the highlights. And the dress code so far has been business casual. That now you get to change into your formal wear for the district director's masquerade banquet and ball beginning at 7 p.m. I will be in long red sparkles. Harvey has assured me he will fit into his tuxedo. <laughs> and I found some amazing masquerade people. We are Toastmasters. Yes, there will be toasts. And yes, there will be formal speeches. And once again, there's music and dancing and hospitality. So now we're up to Sunday if you've made it this far. Some people just never go to bed. <laughs> you are running on adrenaline and coffee, but you're up and dressed a little casually. It's a travel day, and you are seated, waiting for the start of the evaluation contest at 8 a.m. And a word to the hungry, which is me. Some conventions serve coffee and muffins prior, some don't. After the results are announced from that contest and Harvey either reclaims or relinquishes his title as District Evaluation Champion, it's time for your farewell brunch at 10.30 and Mark Brown will once again speak. All is formally wrapped up around two. You can't go back and climb the Berlin Wall ever again. And you can't go back and fly on the Concorde ever again, no matter what anybody says is going to happen to the future today. But you can look forward and be a part of the last ever combined all of Alberta and all of Saskatchewan District 42 convention. So join me this spring from April 20th to May the 1st in Red Deer. Yeah.